Guys, it looks like Microsoft services, 365 services, went down today on noon, March 15th, 2021. And uh, as a result, Microsoft Teams was uh, affected. People kind of send the messages. People couldn't log in. And let's see some of the messages that we that people started to get. Some people getting this error, sign and failed, just random. Some people, uh, this is the actual dashboard. Some people couldn't even sign in to the dashboard to actually see the dashboard. And uh, here's another uh, someone else trying to report an issue, but the act of reporting the issue is failing. That we've seen this many times with outages. When an outage severe as this happen, a global outage, might I say, sometimes the health monitoring aspect of the outage service goes down. So you can't even see the status of the service. Like It's like, it's like a reverse Schrodinger's cat. You can't even look <laughs> to see if the cat is dead. Right, so that's exactly what's happening here. So it, 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 it's it's pretty bad. So uh, Microsoft have identified the issue. I'm gonna summarize the issue right now. They identified the issue. It was an install that was made to the, an authenticated service, an authentication system essentially. And uh, we know what's what Microsoft authentication system. This is the Azure Active Directory, right? That's their authentication. So they made an install to that that broke something and and now nobody can sign in right how beats me right apparently the 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 production environment is completely different than the actual staging environment let's read through this a little bit and then jump into the status pages that we have because uh, knowing Microsoft, they're not going to give us a root cause analysis compared to uh, other companies like I, I, let me know guys but I never seen a, a detailed incident report from Microsoft at all. They just send a status. So let's read through this. We've investigating an issue for access to multiple Microsoft 365 services. Please visit the admin center post MO244568 for more information. We'll provide additional information. We've confirmed that this issue could be affected user affecting users worldwide. Hussein. Didn't this happen back in 2020? <laughs> You're absolutely right. It did happen, and it was a global. And guess what? It was the same exact cause. It was Microsoft Active Directory. It's almost like this central point of failure, the sign-in, the token thing, like the, the thing that gives you privileges to log in goes down. You're pretty much dead. That's what happened to Google back in what? Uh... December was it? They ran out of a quota, which which prevented pe people from signing in. So which is which is odd. And once you can't sign in, you cannot do anything really. So we've identified the issue an issue with a recent change to an authentication system. We're rolling back the update to mitigate impact, which we expect we will uh, approximately take 15 minutes. Additional information can be found at status.office.com. Uh, or the link to the issue so there was an issue they started processing the rollback the process of rollback the change is taking longer than expected we'll provide an eta as soon as one available then we've identified the underlying cause of the problem and are taking step to mitigate the impact we'll provide an updated eta and then they go on we're currently rolling out a mitigation world war so they first they thought it's an issue they rolled back that then they identified the codes but they didn't tell us what the codes obviously and now they're installing this rolling out this mitigation fix worldwide customers should be seeing recovery at this time and we anticipate for a within 60 minutes that was six hours ago 
the update has finished deployment to all impacted regions microsoft 365 are showing decreasing error rates okay so it looks like everything is going back to normal and the final update was like 45 minutes ago our monitoring indicates that majority of the services have fully recovered however we're addressing a subset of services that are still experiencing some residual impact and delaying in recovery so still as of now it's 8 30 p.m pst still microsoft is not fully recovered that yikes so so this is the update what's what is what is up and what is not up so microsoft team still people are not able to send messages in tune power bi office licensing office web application outlook.com exchanging uh, exchange online all of these stuff are heh, half and half they're still not up fully running microsoft forms i don't know who's using that are recovered sharepoint is recovered OneDrive is recovered yammer admin portal recovered so admin portal was the portal that tells you the outage status and people couldn't sign in to to see what's going on we we've seen this so many times right it's, it's really scary I, managing a big system is not easy guys this is huge all right so azure status i found another link giving you a little bit more details on the issue let's read it through authentication errors across multiple microsoft services pursuing mitigation action for residual impact summary of the impact starting at approximately 1915 utc on 15 march 2021 they, they flipped the date so because it's a global outage so they, they need to show people the right the right format of the date <laughs> some customers may experience issues authenticating into microsoft services including microsoft teams office dynamics xbox oh xbox yeah and azure portal uh, all of that stuff current status we have completed rollout of a fix addressing the azure active directory underlining toes what is underlying toes only god knows mitigating impact to azure active directory and azure portal some customers may be seeing preliminary signs of recovery at this time a subset of azure services may be experiencing residual impact due to down down downstream impact of azure storage and azure key vault services these services are continuing to pursue recovery actions the next update will be provided in 60 minutes all right and this is here is here is a a nice diagram of everything all right so it looks like the storage accounts ooh, they're still down the storage accounts are down the key vaults are down uh this is the rest of the set everything is pretty much up the rest of azure firewall storage accounts i don't know what's that whoa 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 storage account storage account is down the rest of the services are up yeah what is that that's another okay the key vault the key vault service uh, that is that related to uh, active directory i guess but yeah but this is all the data centers look at that us east us east 2 central us central us us west uh, and then the europe and you can tell you like okay all the middle east africa azure government azure china wow but guys if you go back so so as as i said when when i read this i was like okay this is very familiar so i went back to my video that i recorded back in september 2019 oh september 2020 right and uh went back and, and thank god i have the links here and when i got the links I found a tweet from uh, Microsoft on September 28, 2020. We're investigating an issue affecting access to multiple Microsoft 365 services. We're working to identify that it's, it's almost like copy paste. And then we've published the, the number and then they say, oh, we identify a recent change that appears to be the source of the issue. You see the pattern? It's always an install that breaks the global entire thing that's exactly the same thing that happened they made an install that broke things back in september they made an install that broke things they rolled back 
We've rolled back the change and it's likely the source of the impact, right? We're not, and then back in September, they didn't observe anything. The, uh, they couldn't uh, still, the, uh, the initial, in, uh, the, the establishment of connections are still bad. So did that work? And then we went through that stuff and then they found the, I'm not going to go through that stuff again. I don't, I don't like, I really, I really commend the engineers behind this, right? Because we have to be empathetic and think. It's like, this is not easy. This job is not easy. We're, we're, they are serving the entire globe. And of course, outages happen, right? It's just, we really have to learn from our outage. I mean, it happened. And you would think Microsoft would catch that. Because like, fool me once, right? This is unacceptable for Microsoft. If it is what we think it is, it is an install that broke things, which happened in September, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Yeah, I, I still commend the engineers. That, yeah, they're doing a great job bringing the services back up. They're working really hard uh, to bring the services up. But I think if someone, if, if unless this is a completely, from what we see here, maybe we're completely blind. Well, hey, maybe you say, Hussein, that's a completely different issue. We cannot, com we cannot recover from that. Yeah, well, yeah, it did happen in September, but that was a completely different issue. But you would think there was some, some, some sort of mitigation. I might be wrong. I don't know, right? But again, regardless, kudos to all the engineers on Microsoft working to bring the services back up and running. This is, uh, regardless, like this is our brother and engineer, essentially, right? So all the best and uh, hope everybody gets, gets back up and running soon and guys have you been affected by the outage let me know in the comment section below i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye